In this video I'm going to show you how I instantly typed an ENTP and how you can spot and recognize ENTPs in public. Uh, sorry, could I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Uh, so first of all, I'm just curious, uh, uh, are you here visiting or are you, do you live in France? Uh, I'm, I'm here visiting. Uh, I, I visited some work colleagues from one year ago. Okay, that's cool. Where are you from? Austria, oh, Vienna. Nice. Cool. Uh, would it be okay if I tried to guess your uh, personality type? Sure. I think you are more extroverted. You are like stimulation, doing things, experiencing new things. I would also guess that you are more of an intuitive, like you are like uh, more imaginative, creative. Uh, you get more energy from ideas and from the new experiences and from variety than from uh, familiarity and routine, tradition. I guess I would say so. Yeah, like I'd guess that you are a person that uh, you get the most energy and you feel the most in flow when you have new experiences, new situations where you can think outside the box and you find it the most stressful and annoying when you have a set process you have to follow and everything uh, like that has to be in a certain way and uh, <laughs> when you have to be structured and organized in a sense. Does that make sense? I think I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd also guess that you are more of a thinking type. Yes, as in overthinking, yes. Uh, <laughs> overthinking, sure. <laughs> uh, also, it can be in the just being uh, argumentative, like liking to see the other side in the discussion. Uh, you know, some people, they might be more like seeking agreements with everyone and seeking to agree just for the sake of agreeing and connection. But uh, I think you enjoy uh, showing the other side and sometimes showing the critical perspective. If you think of it like from another side, you You'd argue it a bit more. D disagree with everyone, yes. Yeah. And the last one I'd guess is that you are more of a perceiving type. Perceiving types, they are more go with the flow. They don't like necessarily to have a plan for things. Uh, for the most part, they prefer when they can wing it and improvise and adapt in the situation. Does that make sense? I improvise, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Cool. So that will make you the ENTP personality type. Have you ever done a Mars Briggs personality I, I test? I haven't done yet, and I, I don't remember which was my my exact uh, type. So after the conversation, we decided to look up his results on his phone. Turns out he was an ENTP debater on the 16 personalities with a strong result for extroversion, intuition, thinking, and perceiving. So how did I know? So in this case, uh, sometimes typing is pattern recognition. That means if you've been exposed to a type enough, you met enough people with that personal type, you'll start to notice patterns, mannerisms, expressions, things about them, how they smile, how they look with their eyes, and just a general way of talking and just being. And in this case, I in immediately recognized this guy as an ENTP on the street and I just had to go up and ask him, you know, are you an ENTP? So what are the things I would look for when typing somebody as an ENTP? Well, the first thing that I could look for is uh, uh, that ENTPs have quite goofy expressions. You'll see a lot of uh, animation in their cheeks, especially in how they smile and how they are about themselves. They uh, look less serious and less uh, professional and more goofy and silly. At the same time, ENTPs can have a thoughtful expression, especially in their shins. You can notice that they can sometimes push out more towards a more thoughtful, critical, hmm, I don't know if that's true or not, and hmm, I don't, we'll see, I, I disagree with that. You know, you can tell when they disagree with something, because they start to smile in their lower regions on their shin. Uh, another part you can look for is uh, <laughs> their hand gestures. What you'll see from the ENTP is this grabbing claw gesture. So ENTPs tend to have fixed fingers when facing towards themselves, like they are pulling strings with their fingers. Their hand gestures are otherwise fluid. It's more that uh, their fingers and how they are with their fingers are more firm. Uh, when gesturing towards other people, you'll see a little bit of a different variation. ENTPs will have more soft fingers when engaging and judging the outer world, and more firm fingers when judging themselves. They are firm on how they see themselves, and they are more fluid in how they engage with other people. Their wrist movements are a bit more choppy, they're exemplifying, they're uh, more organized, more composed when gesturing towards others and more fluid and more floating and more throwing ideas around when gesturing towards themselves. So which personality type do you find the most easy to spot and uh, 
have you ever instantly recognized somebody was a certain personnel type? And what did they say? The truth is, facial expressions can lead you wrong. Maybe you were only half right, or perhaps you missed something, or perhaps it was <laughs> you were just thrown off by a certain facial feature. Body language is different from physical facial features. It's not about how large the eyes are, or how big the nose is. It's about just how they smile and how they look. Their muscles rather than their physical features. So if somebody tells you that, no, I'm not this type and I don't relate at all and I'm totally an ISFJ and I uh, yeah, relate 100% to that, yeah, I think you should listen to them and you should take that seriously and you should just adjust your colleagues. That means, you know, you can use body language to type people, but always be open to compromise and always check if you're right and readjust your maths if you get things wrong. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.